Well, good day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Um, just wanted to do a, a quick video tonight as a follow on from the one I did a couple of nights ago um, after sort of having another close look at this um, pulse width modulator circuit uh, and what's going on there. I just want to acknowledge um, some help from Paul VK3 Hotel November. Uh, gave me some good steers there to double check to make sure things were good. So uh, thanks very much, Paul. That was certainly uh, very useful. Um, what it turned out to be pretty well uh, was I, I wasn't presenting the low pass filter here down the bottom right hand corner of the picture um, with the right uh, load. Um, that's expecting to see that sort of, um, if I recall, around 3 ohms. Um, and clearly the Class A amplifier over here that I was plugging into it uh, just just wasn't the right impedance. Uh, and Paul pointed that out that uh, for testing these sorts of circuits, um, the pulse switch modulators modulators wanting that wanting to see that sort of a you know, three to fifteen odd uh, ohms as a, as a load. Now that light bulb over here, which we'll see light up in a sec, uh, cold is around three ohms. Um, and what I may do is look to replace that with a uh, a number higher a number of higher wattage uh, resistors uh, in parallel to to create that sort of that roughly sort of five ohm load. Um, so I'll look at doing that tomorrow. But anyway, uh, up on the screen here, we've got two traces. Um, the top trace there, if we were just to go back to um, that circuit diagram we had from a couple of weeks back, um, that's looking at the drain of this MOSFET. So this MOSFET is acting like a switch, which is switching on and off at an audio rate. That 12 volts um, that I'm currently using VCC that goes through that filter, that low pass filter, down to what will eventually become the uh, the RF power uh, amplifier, the Class E amp. So like I say, that um, MOSFET there has been switched on and off, and we've got the scope just sitting there looking at the output of that MOSFET uh, with no filter engaged. Um, so with zero modulation, which is the case at the moment, um, that needs to be set up to be uh, at a 50% um, duty cycle. So half on, half off. Um, and as you can imagine, Every time it's on, it's applying uh, 12 volts through that filter, and every time it's off, it's cut off. So um, in terms of the DC level coming out of that filter, uh, we would expect that, expect that to be roughly um, half of the VCC rail. So I've got a 12 volt um, uh, power supply over here, um, and as we'll see in a sec, that's, it'll be sitting roughly um, around that sort of 5 to 6 odd volts. Um, and as you can imagine, as it turns off, that should drop um, as we start to modulate. In fact, we'll, we'll turn the modulation on now. So I'm now modulating that with a uh, with a um, 0.4 hertz signal, uh, just to get an idea of uh, that duty cycle of that MOSFET being varied at the audio rate. So it's not quite um, 100%. Um, it's not fully off and it's not fully on but it's getting very very close so if I was now to um, scope the output of the uh, filter we'd expect to see that going up and down so what it is I'll just put the circuit uh, the filter back into circuit and we can start to see there now so I understand that that's not unusual for now the the, uh, the scope trace on the drain of that MOSFET to be a little bit ragged um, so Ignoring that, but just having a look down here at this particular voltage here. So the DC level is um, this line here. We go back to DC, and we can see the it's now varying pretty close down to that line, and then and beyond our quiescent level. Again, turn the modulation off, and we can see there that's the zero. It's five volts per division, so it's roughly five volts there, and that's our quiescent level. Turn the modulation back on again, and we can now start to see that varying up and down down close to zero and uh, up to a value greater than um, greater than our uh, our quiescent value of five volts again not fully on not fully off so we're never going to get to the to the exact extremes of zero volts and our um, and our VCC rail noting that there will be some voltage drop being dropped across that MOSFET um, and I have to double check what that particular value was uh, for this particular MOSFET and as we can see over the back there the uh, the light bulb there glowing on and off um, as that voltage level rises up and down. So that's where I'm at. Um, so that's good. I think at this stage of the game, uh, apart from maybe wanting to better understand what that is and, and is, is that a problem, 
Um, I think I might set the pole switch modulator um, aside of the stage uh, and call it close enough for experimenting. Uh, and now I start to, uh, to shift my attention towards the, the Class E amplifier. So I'll take those values that uh, we looked at in the last video in terms of some initial ideas um, and start to uh, start to make that up. What I'll also do too over the next couple of days is, is look to um, solder this up, so look to transfer this circuit onto um, some circuit board. Um, down the bottom right hand corner there, I didn't talk about it the other day, um, there's a small microphone amplifier there. Uh, it's got a little 2N3904 Class A preamp there feeding into a any 5534 op amp um, um, secondary amplifier there which is then kicking up that uh, audio from the microphone which is off, off camera there uh, which will then uh, has enough drive there to drive the, the comparator at the moment just using the uh, the SIGGEN to get that nice low frequency uh, which makes it easier to see what's going on um, yeah so I think that's where we're at um, transfer that to a, a proper circuit um, and then at some point in time we need to add some code there to the Arduino to drive the uh, SI5351 which will then become the um, the oscillator feeding into the Class E amplifier but um, we'll save that for down track. But anyway that's where we're at. Um, pretty happy with that. Again thanks Paul for your input that was certainly very very useful and for others too that provided um, some advice it's, uh, it's all good stuff and hopefully we can all learn um, something new. This is certainly all new to me when it comes to the, the AEM pulse modulation so it's been quite enjoyable trying to nut out what's going on and and uh, like I say the penny dropped this morning uh, in terms of setting that to the 50% uh, um, duty cycle there which makes perfect sense in a, in a zero modulation um, situation and then overlaying the modulation to drive that uh, more towards or the extremes of the um, the duty cycle. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble there, so I'm going to uh, knock it on the head. Uh, cheers all, and uh, we will catch you next time. Cheers all.